so it's another Tuesday and uh, getting new fish in, but while we're waiting for this shipment, um, an earlier shipment came in and we actually got some pretty interesting things, so let me show First you First up, we, we got these uh, gold Wonder Killies, uh, at least that's what they're labeled as. The Wonder Killies normally don't have these uh, stripes on them, so I'm not sure. They weren't labeled as anything different, but they definitely are. We got some uh, nice big pink kissing garamis. Got a bunch of uh, little bumblebee gobies. These guys are one of my favorites. I got a whole bunch at home. We also got these marble gobies who just came in. Got a whole bunch of red honey garamis and gold honey garamis. These guys are really cute. Also got in a bunch of iridescent sharks. Got a whole bunch of little bala sharks. And most of all, what's really interesting that I had to snag. Somebody else was buying a bunch right when I came in. And so I had to get my hands on them and buy all the rest. We got licorice garamis. These guys almost look like a wild, like a young wild betta, almost like the, the female macrostomas do. But, uh, well, can't get a good look at them right now. But they are awesome. I'm gonna try and breed them. I just got eight of them. And when I get home, I'll have some better footage of them. Good. Dancing singer. <laughs> So the um, shipment arrived and the first one I just grabbed out for a special order customer, this uh, Similis Corys. These guys are pretty awesome. Not, not that common. Pretty cool. Another thing we just got in, these purple luminous guppies. They're a little stressed so they're not showing their colors fully but they're pretty neat looking. We got these Greek goddess or Greek god nuda branches. They're really cool looking. They're like blackish purplish with this yellow little rings. Definitely not something you see every day. Just got in some uh, Daisy's Blue rice fish, uh, the killifish. Definitely not having very much color right now, but I mean the shipment just came in and it's really really cold outside So hopefully after these guys float they'll have some nice color to them So here's one of the guys that I was really interested in. It's a samurai puffer You got this really neat kind of red line across them in nature. They're actually brackish um, but these ones at least for now, I've been kept in fresh water. So hopefully his new home will be uh, somebody who keeps him in a brackish tank. I'm about to send some pictures of this over to Zenzo Tozawa. He was uh, interested in these when I was telling him about them last night. We also got some uh, saber tusk barracudas floating away in there. I'll get a better shot of these guys when um, we let them out. This is a, a blue silk flower horn, which is pretty neat. Pretty different from the normal flower horns we uh, normally carry, which, let's see, we had a few over here we got in like yesterday. A nice nuchal, uh, nuchal hump, a cock. <laughs> Flower horns are always a lot of fun to play with. Really interactive fish. There's another blue silk flower horn. We got a large ruby scat. Also, little 
little baby red tail cats. They're always cute, but those guys get jagged right there. Got some new angels in. Just a random assortment of some. Koi. So here's what the... Ah, focus on this little guy. So this is the... Uh, the licorice grami. The last one left. Um, the rest are all bagged up. I'm taking eight of them home, and somebody else bought. Uh, I think about eight of them. So but that's what they look like in the tank. Really cute little guys. When they get older, they have um, the males look really amazing. I'll put a picture up on uh, right after this to show what those look like. Got in a nice size dragon goby. I love these guys. So prehistoric. I believe they're uh, another fish that's brackish in nature. And we got some African rope fish. These guys are fun. So here's one of the samurais. Um, a customer just bought the, the one that I showed earlier when he was floating. I figure I better film this guy before he gets bought because that same customer, he didn't see we had two, he said he's going to come back and buy this one. Oh, this guy's looking really shy right now. He was all out and moving a minute ago. But, yeah, let's see. Let's get another angle of him. So, over here in the Pleco area, we got a black vampire Pleco. He came in pretty big. That's a nice size to him. As well, let's see. We got a nice pair of pleco. We got one at home. I've always wanted to try breeding them. Uh, plecos are one thing I've never actually bred. Uh, I got a big royal liar tail in the back. Royal ah, liar tail, royal pleco, and uh, peppermint there. A little chubby pleco. Got another royal back there. Got a tiger in the back kind of hiding. And then bacon pleco. Some little clown plecos. These guys are awesome. They're one of the smallest plecos. This is like full size. One of the only plecos that you can actually keep in like a, you know, 10, 10 gallon or so. And then little baby bristle nose plecos. A couple different kinds in there. Some albinos, some regulars. But that's about it for the plecos. So here are those purple luminous guppies. They've uh, colored up a good bit now. They're pretty neat looking. Yeah, I like them. So down here in the saltwater area, got some more decorator crabs. Definitely one of my favorites. Look at all that stuff on them. So neat. Also got some shrimp. Crabs. I'm not sure what kind of crab this is. Just a little tiny shrimp. Got some peppermint shrimp. Here's the uh, nudibranches, the Greek goddess nudibranches. Wow, those are cool. Whoop! <laughs> Somebody's getting in my shot, photo bombing. Another new saltwater edition. We got these uh, blue eyed, pink purple queen antheas. I think they're pretty awesome. 
Got a long name too. It's also some uh, gold striped maroon clowns. And um, let's see what else oh, there's a little fire fish he got in here by accident. He must have oh, he kinda traveled far. He made it over two barriers. Here's the other fire fish. <laughs> let's see what else do we have that's new? In with the yellow tangs, we've got some awesome uh, assorted different butterflies. Big old queen trigger back there. Just looking like she wants to nip at these other fish. Got a Koran angel. So everybody's done floating. Uh, got some more banjo cats in there. Little Du Boise cichlids. The and I. These guys are always so cool looking. Got in a bunch of rainbow sharks. Uh, these guys aren't new. Julio, uh, Julio, nah, Julio Chromis. A little bit of a tongue twist there. Some um, Nicaraguense cichlids. And archer fish. There's a little stifidon, little Klingon stifidon goby hiding back there. Another pig, pig nose puffer. African butterfly. And a four line cat. So over here we've got our rams. Some uh, German blue and regular blues. Got some balloon golds and balloon blues. And of course, we've got our electric blues and electric blue balloons. Also got some uh, gold rams. And finally, some albino rainbow sharks. Uh, we've got the usual convicts, under and blue convicts. Little Barloella and uh, Peru Green Severum, Marble Datinoid, Chocolate Garamis, Red Tail Sharks. This guy's color isn't so well, the tails aren't too red. Uh, this Dakota Sex Fasciatus, we've had him for a while. I'm surprised nobody's picked him up. Whiptail, Common Pike, King Kong Puffer, just got in a bunch more uh, Raphael cats, they're all stacked up in the corner, little tiny Fajaca, another one of these little Starry Night Eels, they've been selling pretty well so we get a new one in every week. They usually are sold within the first day or so. Got these Johani cichlids. Got some pretty cool patterns and colors to them. And then, as I was talking about before, everybody's favorite, the rope fish and the dragon goby is right there. Got a customer coming in to pick the dragon goby up in probably an hour or so. Man, I can't focus on this for the life of me. What is going on with my phone? So, got the mandarin gobies and the dragonette, red dragonette blennies. And I showed them before, but they're just awesome. They're always fun to watch. Really finicky eaters though. It can be a little bit of a challenge. 
but definitely a rewarding one. In the coral section, we've got uh, blue Maxima clams. These guys are always neat. Got lots of nice corals. All right, guys, I just got home. Um, I wanted to show, I got another peacock gudgeon. I got one last week, and I got another one in here. It's a little stressed out, so I'll try and get some shots of him in a minute. And, uh, yeah, so I got eight of the um, licorice garamis. I'll get another shot of them when I have them in. I got another little quarantine tank. And one final thing. I got some pan shadow panda shrimp to uh, go in here to hang out with all these great little guys. So let me get everything set up and uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Um, first off, before you say anything, this is definitely not their permanent home, but here are the licorice garamis. Uh, they're still settling in, and also there's some uh, baby brine shrimp in there. Because I had just fed in a different tank, which I pulled this filter from, and I guess a few got sucked in. I got a little half coconut in here. And this is just a temporary quarantine tank for the next few days while I keep an eye on them, treat them for uh, any, you know, just preventive measures. And I got some catapa leaves that I just dropped in, but they're fresh, so they're uh, still floating. I put one that was already from a, um, softened up from a cycled tank. And as you can see, we got some hiding under there. Trying to give them more hiding places. I'm not done yet setting this up. But I've got um, a little sponge filter for noise reasons. I've uh, unplugged it. But I've also got a heater. And when I have little quarantine tanks like this, I basically change the water more than half, about 50% or more every day. Um, in a pinch, maybe every other day, but usually every day. And yeah, and over here, here's the shrimp that I just added, a little panda, and they, the shadow pandas look quite a bit like the um, panda loaches I have here, which you can tell already have grown enough that they're not any longer perfectly striped. Their patterns seem to already be changing, which is... Surprising, I didn't expect it that quick, but yeah. And finally, here's the peacock dudgeon. Uh, there's a little algae on this tank, so it's tough to see. But yeah, there's how he looks now that he's settled in. I went ahead and added some moss in here. I think I'm gonna add some more, but you can tell already they like it much better. Oh, and they're picking at some worms. I got a feeling I'm gonna like these guys a lot. It's a really cool little fish. And they do stay small, very small. So, uh, they're pretty good for nano tanks. Now it appears they've definitely started to get comfortable. That or they just want some heat. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, and if you want me to do a full video on the licorice gouramis and or some updates on them, let me know. Thanks.